Welcome everyone, my name is Anthony Ramos and today we're going to be talking about assignment rules, overview, tips, tricks, within vulnerability response, and let's get started. So what is an assignment rule? Assignment rule gives you an automated triage method that if a vulnerability does come in, it allows you to send that vulnerability to an appropriate group automatically. And how it does that is by the data within either the, the VIT and associated CI. So let's, let's go through and create one and then we can troubleshoot that rule as well. So I'm gonna go in and create in uh, vulnerability assignment rules i am currently logged in as a vulnerability admin or i have that role i'm going to go ahead and click new and today we are going to be sending any bits to the windows uh, server team server support team so for the top area up here for the name i'm going to go ahead and call this server assignment roles and uh, it's automatically set to active when you create new the execution order I'm going to set this to 500 right now and we'll get into that um, here in a minute on what the purpose of the execution order is description um, you do not have to put anything in here but we do recommend that you fill it in with uh, pertinent information here is the bread and butter of any rules are the conditions. And for this one, uh, for the Windows Server, we want the configuration item. Class, let's go down here and find class. Is Quite a few in here, but we're going to go ahead and select Windows Domain Controller first because I saw two in there. So, configuration class is Windows Domain Controller or same thing, configuration item class. is going back into the windows here windows server and if it meets these two criteria or one of the other criteria we want to send this to a user group and for this instance we are going to send it to the windows server support group now let me go ahead and just submit this and then we'll come back here and talk about some of the other options Okay, and I'm going to apply those changes. So if we see uh, first, the Windows Server assignment rule is set at 500. So the lower the number, the, the, it runs first, the higher the number runs last. Uh, there are a couple major topics in here, which is one, the catch-all assignment rule should run absolutely last. And this one is going to catch anything that any of these rules do not get us uh, moved over the assignment rule the catch-all sign rule is going to send it to this group here which is the vulnerability response group and that will allow them to create additional groups based upon the data they receive so going back in into our windows server assignment rule so you we send it to a group you could send it to a user group field and that is actually being utilized go back here into the assigned to support group so if we open up this one here the user group field configuration item support group so if that if that configuration item is there it will send it based upon the order that it's in right and then the last one is a scripting field 
which allows you to do put your own logic in there, uh, any different criteria. It's kind of your playground if you decide that you want to use some scripts. Because I don't want to make any changes. So uh, going into our multiple items. Now I went ahead and sorted um, by, I filtered out anything that was closed and I grouped by assignment rule. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. And here is one of the issues, and I created it on purpose because I wanted to demonstrate how we can fix it. Um, right now there's a total of 700 vulnerabilities, but they're only being assigned to two rules. But I have a whole bunch of rules in here. Well, what we're going to do, because this starts first and this starts second, we're going to go in and, and change our Windows Server assignment rule. And I'm going to bump that down to 99 and then rerun it and see what we come up with. And this is one of the tools you, you, uh, you as the admin can definitely use if you're finding that a group is getting too many or unwanted it's assigned to them. So 99, to update, and then reapply that. And then I'm going to come back and show you um, what's going on. So I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go back and check on our Windows Server Assignment Rule. All right, awesome. So now before it was just getting assigned to these two and now we're actually adding the server assignment rule in here click on that you can see that it's associated and the rule that pushed that along but this is going to be really 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 important and what's going to happen is as you start creating these based upon your vulnerabilities that you have um, you really want to understand what's in there. Don't make a rule complicated if you don't have to. And always, because these run in order, always uh, push your rules that are the simplest to the most complex. So this one, this rule was relatively simple. We want it to go ahead and go first. The more complicated rules, if you can run it later in the run, run it later. And that is all based upon the execution order. All right, some best practices around um, the rules here is keep your logic inside of your rule clear and concise. And I had mentioned that if you're going to um, create any kind of scripting, you want it to be as clear and concise as uh, you possibly can. And that's more for upgrade and performance reasons. Um, now, Another catch-all is going to be the use of summary versus uh, configuration item data. You can use information in the vulnerability summary, but it's not recommended. And the reason for that is your third-party data could change, which then in turn could change the rule and make it not valid. It's just not set data. And even though you can use it, and in some cases you might have to use it, uh, it's not it's not recommended. Utilizing this catch-all rule to create other rules is, in my opinion, one of the better ways to create additional rules and figure out what's going on. So this rule is super simple. Anything that's active and it's set to true, go ahead and send it to this group. Now. Um, Going back to our list here, this is where you're going to, because that rule ran last and these rules ran first, you're not going to have any in there. Uh, but once you do, you can go in. Here, let's just uh, let's grab the Windows Server group here, and if these start to be different, maybe it's Windows Server um, VM and you want to send that to the VM group, you'll find out how many are in here, and then you can create a, root, uh, a rule based upon the information you have in, in the data that's listed. 
in this group. So that's one way of creating an, a rule from a rule to help speed things up. Okay, uh, that's what I have today for assignment rules. We'll be creating additional content on other uh, parts of vulnerability response, but this is just a quick down and dirty and some best tips and practices. Thank you for listening and watching. My name is Anthony Ramos. Have an awesome day.